Fence Jazz here, and today I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the Bass Pro Shops NRA Night Race at Bristol. So yeah, so let's get started. So um, before we start, um, if you're wondering why is this video coming so late in the afternoon when the race was last night, well the thing is because I was actually out most of the day in Temple, Texas for a train show and also rail fanning, so yeah, I mean, it's, that's why... It took me so long to get to get making this video. I mean, I ha I left around seven this morning, so yeah. I mean, just that's why though this video is coming out so late here. So hope you guys understand out there. But now I'm, I, I finally had the chance to film it. So yeah, I mean, just that's out, that's out there. So let's get started. So as we know, Chris Buescher last night managed to pull through and win his second ever race in his career because his last win came in 2016 at Pocono. So yeah, I mean, I never did think Busher would have a chance, but RFK Racing was really good last night. And that goes for Kozlowski too, somehow. I mean, even though Kozlowski's my third least favorite. So yeah, I mean, just quite surprising to see them both run really well. I mean, I thought they were just running that well because they just, because of, of their strategy there, but yeah, I mean, they at least held on to the lead. So yeah, and here is your top five here with 300 drivers, but one out and that was Bowman. And and also the drivers who are eliminated after last night's race are Tyler Reddick, which I kind of find a little surprising. And then Kyle Busch, sadly, as a Kyle Busch fan, he is eliminated due to a blown motor. And then Austin Dillon, which I predict going to be out of this round. And honestly, quite the most shocking elimination here is Kevin Harvick here, which honestly, I mean, even though I don't like Harvick, this I'm I'm honestly just shocked he's actually eliminated this early. I mean, seriously, I mean just I mean, after winning two races last month, Harvick is just now out already. I mean, seriously, I mean, that's surprising there. I mean, yeah, and I mean, just, I mean, for Dylan, though, I mean, I knew, I had a feeling he was not going to advance out of this round since he just didn't have enough points. Yeah, and Kabush just, it sucks as a Kabush fan, but you can mostly blame NASCAR for this with, like, maybe the next gen or Toyota or whatever, because once again, he had a blown motor like Darlington. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if this is, if this is the car right here, NASCAR seriously has to make some improvements with the next gen here. I mean, I'm kind of thinking about maybe doing a talk video about the next gen, but I'm not sure yet, but yeah. But I mean, that'll likely come in, in the off season if I decide to do it. So yeah, I mean, just, yeah. And for Reddick though, I mean, just, I guess he just didn't have enough points just to make it in. I mean, I would think if he did not get caught in that crash, I would think he would have made it and beat it Cindric, but he didn't just have enough at the end there to advance. Which, honestly, I kind of find that a surprising since Reddick, he was one of my picks to go to the round of 12. And same with Kyle Busch and Kevin Harvick. But Dylan was not. I mean, just, and just think, I mean, I mean, of all four drivers who I picked to be out of this round, I only got one right out of the four. Which, I think my four drivers I predicted to be out were Austin Dillon, Austin Sindrick, Alex Bowman, and Daniel Suarez. And I only got Austin Dillon right, which... Uh, yeah, I mean, just that's that's quite bad right there. I mean, I bet a lot of people, uh, a lot, of pe uh, a lot of people's playoff brackets are broken right now because of this shocking elimination from two champions, uh, uh, two champions and two RCR drivers, which one we knew was gonna be out maybe, and one who we thought could have a shot at the championship. So yeah, I mean, just. Quite surprising to see two champions out, but one driver who we thought who was going to be out and the other who would have a shot, they're all four of them are eliminated, which are Tyler Reddick, Kyle Busch, Austin Dillon, and Kevin Harvick, who are all eliminated, which also is past, present, and future RCR drivers, since Kyle Busch will be driving for RCR next year. So, yeah. But moving on from this year, there were quite a, um, a few, quite a lot of incidents last night with playoff drivers like out of all 16 drivers 12 of them had issues which quite a lot to be honest 
So yeah, definitely more than Darlington. That's the sh that's that's for sure. But yeah, I mean, just but uh, yeah, I'm just there's a lot of incidents last night. Like the first one was with Amaral and Blaney, and then there was one with Cindric, I'm guessing, and there was also one with Jones and Harrison Burns spun out twice, I think. I don't know. And and not to mention also Truex, Bubba Wallace, and Ty Gibbs also had engine issues as well. Like I don't know if this is Toyota or NASCAR, but whatever it is, NASCAR seriously needs to do improvements on this next gen. I mean, I'm sorry, but it needs to be done. Yeah, and of course there was the incident with Kyle Busch with the blown motor, just like Darlington. And yeah, I mean, just it sucks as a Kyle Busch fan, but just honestly, I think I'm ready for him to go to RCR. And yeah, I think the stage winners were were. The stage winners were Kozlowski and Bell. I mean, Bell had a blown tire late, but yeah. And and not to mention after the Kyle Busch incident, there was a big wreck where, which is where Suarez got turned and collected a couple cars, I think. Which which I can remember Bowman, Stenhouse, Balicki, Dylan, and Reddick were in it. I can't. I couldn't tell because of the TV angle. But, yeah, I mean, I'll, I may have to look at replays on that. I mean, even though I've been busy today. So, yeah. And trying to think of any more incidents. Um, can't really think of anything else. But, yeah, I mean, Logano, he had some sort of issue, I'm, I think. And, yeah, I can't remember anything else that happened last night. I mean, Bell did have an issue. And not to mention on the final pit stops, Kevin Harvick... He could have maybe had a shot at this win to advance to the next round, but on that final pit stop, he, he just had just a terrible pit stop by his pit crew, not getting the wheel on right, and just that that just ended his shot of getting into the round of twelve in the in a must win situation. Like he did not, I don't think he didn't have to get in on points. I would think he would have had to win that in this race if he wanted to advance, but. Yeah, I mean, just, but, I mean, just, it's, it's still shocking that Harvick's, uh, Harvick's eliminated, though, but, yeah, but, I mean, but, overall, I mean, I'm happy for Chris Buescher winning, since, uh, since it's just been so long since his last win, and this is, uh, also the first time RFK has won with Kosowski as an owner, even though I don't like him, but, yeah, I mean, just, but, those are there, just my thoughts there on this race, so, yeah, I mean, just, yeah, really good race overall. I mean, even though it was, it was, it, it, I felt bad as a Cowboys fan last night since he's eliminated now. But yeah, I mean, just, but that's that there. But yeah, I mean, just, but anyways, um, for videos this week though, um, I I actually have a couple train videos that I actually want to upload. Like, in fact, yesterday I caught a UP Grain train in, in McNeil, and I also caught UP 1982 on an auto rack train. And, of course, today I did Real Finning and Temple, so stay tuned for a video on that. And uh, I'll try and maybe you know, upload a video about, my, about the model trains at the train show. And I also have a diecast coming in hopefully tomorrow, and I also am doing a stream tomorrow. So plenty of videos coming this week. And also, next week I'll actually be going to Texas Motor Speedway for the NASCAR Cup race. So can't wait for that there. I'm also going to the Xfinity race too, hopefully. So, yeah, I mean, just lots of videos coming out this week. So, yeah. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.